My bad. Because looking at it now, I see words I did not see before. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Well, I didn't see the whipped cream thing either. Like, it's okay. It's okay. okay. All right. I have five questions for you, friend. Uh, so Great. here we go. All right. Question number one. Um, what is the worst meal to eat on a first date? I would say anything unwieldy. So like salad can go rogue at any point. So like trying to make somebody watch you eat salad, horrifying. Um, soup for similar reasons. In fact, mm -hmm. I, I do not wish to be named at all, but around this time of year, it comes up because I, for a while worked as comedy press. So I would interview people at South by Southwest that were doing comedy. Okay. And I interviewed Joel Kimbo restaurant where like because of some dietary stuff I had the only thing I could eat was soup so Joel Kim Booster has had to watch me eat soup and like he's doing wonderfully now which I'm so happy about because he was really lovely so thoughtful but like every time I see him I'm just like this man had to watch me eat soup and I feel <laughs> um because there's just no like elegant or alluring way of eating it it's just and I love soup but like only yeah. a couple of people can watch. Um, and then pasta, similarly. I feel like it just doesn't sound nice. Like, right. yeah. So <laughs> things like that. Yeah. <laughs> anything you can eat great bites is good. And anything that's yeah. like more amorphous in terms of a, of a bite, maybe don't. <laughs> Question number two. Uh, what is your favorite late night snack? Ooh. Mm -hmm. Cheese and pretzels. Oh. Or like string cheese and like saltine cracker. I like that. You don't have to pull out a knife with the string cheese, which I like. Because I'm like, I'm not trying to do all that work and then feel compelled to like have to deal with it before I go to bed. I'm like, no. <laughs> That's fair. That's really fair. Uh, question number three. Uh, what is your, uh, what is a dish that takes you back to childhood? Is there one meal that just like teleports you back to a younger time? Hmm. Spaghettios. Oh yeah. Cause I feel like some of the other ones like Campbell's chicken noodle soup comes to mind as does like a craft dinner, but I still eat those. Whereas I genuinely mm -hmm. don't think I've eaten spaghetti in like 20 years. So that's yeah. like a very abundant kind of meal. Yeah. I looked at it the other day, a can of SpaghettiOs and some alphagetti in the grocery store. And uh, I was like, oh, that would be nice. And then then I read the label of the ingredients and I'm like, I'm, I should have just bought it and not turned that can around. Yeah. <laughs> the, less, the less we know, the better. <laughs> <laughs> the less no, you're aware sure. of. <laughs> I wish to know less. All right. Question number four. Um, is a hamburger a sandwich, Ama? Yes. yes. And I say this because I largely subscribe to a food philosophy known as the cube rule. Okay. Are you familiar with the cube rule? I am not. The cube rule. It classifies all foods based on the number of sides upon which there are supporting starch. Oh. So like a sandwich is any anything that has a starch on two sides. So like a Napoleon dessert, sandwich, hamburger, sandwich, hot dog, taco, because it has supporting starch on three sides. Thank you. I and like that you said that. And then if it has suspending starches in it, right? then it's a soup. So like cereal by these rules is a soup. And yeah. And then oatmeal is a stew. Like yes. it just breakfast like stew. Um and unrelated to this, but I did ask somebody in food about this because I had been wondering about it for a while. Mm -hmm. Uh rice pudding, dessert risotto. That begs the question is a Pop Tart ravioli. Yes. 
It's also technically a Wellington. If you're willing to go very specific, a Pop-Tart's a Wellington. But in this instance, it is, uh, it's a ravioli. All right, my final question, number five. If Ben and Jerry were to knock on your door and say, hey, we're going to name an ice cream after you, what would they call it? And what would be in your dream ice cream? Hmm. Something in this world needs to be called One Funny Marfo. And I think that the ice cream should be it. Now, what would be in it? Um, <laughs> I think I would like like a ridged potato chip and peanut butter cups in like a peanut butter ice cream. Yeah. Oh, I like that. A little salty, a little sweet. I love chocolate and peanut butter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They have to make that. Yeah. It needs to happen. <laughs> mm -hmm.